What's going on YouTube? In this video, I wanna talk about email copywriting pros and cons. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this because I'll be explaining if or if you should not become an email copywriter. And everyone's different, right? Some people, they're okay doing phone calls. Some people are only wanna do setting. Some people only wanna do email. It's good for a certain kind of person and it's bad for another kind of person. Before we dive in, I just wanna say, if you're someone that's stuck, you have no clue where to go. You don't know what to charge. You don't know how much you should be you know, theoretically making per month at, for a certain type of role. If you wanna be an appointment setter, if you wanna be a call setter, or a, if you wanna be a remote closer, if you wanna be a email copywriter, you don't know what your pricing should be, you don't know where to find clients, you don't know how to outreach, you don't know how to set up your brand. If that sounds like you, then I recommend you book a free strategy session with us. And on that call, what we'll do is we'll dive into your personal background, figure out where you should go, what you should be focusing on to make the most money as fast as possible. And then if it makes sense, we can also chat about potentially enrolling you into our HFM mentorship program, as long as it makes sense for you financially, as well as your current life situation. We do not want to enroll anyone into the HFM mentorship program that isn't 100% ready and it makes 100% sense for them. Also recommend you get into our free Facebook group as well. Now, here's the pros and cons to email. I'm gonna get into the cons first of email, and then we'll get into the pros. The cons, number one, are gonna be, you've gotta sit there and write. Now, for some people, that might be a, a, a pro, actually, but for me, a con, it's kind of a con because it's, it's pretty boring. It is actually boring. Who honestly wants to sit there and write all day? If you had your way, you probably wouldn't even wanna work at all. So writing tends to be pretty boring. You've gotta have a lot of concentration on the email you're writing. You gotta make sure it meets the quality standard that you're typically giving to your client, right? You can't just let it suffer because you don't have the energy for the day. It takes a lot of focus and a lot of you know, planning. You gotta like make sure it's gonna, it's gonna convert. Is it gonna make people open the email? Are people gonna to wanna to read it? Are people gonna to wanna to take the next step? Are you making sure you're hitting all the different requirements for an email? Is there scarcity involved in the email? Is there curiosity inducing lines in the email? It's pretty, it can be pretty boring, but anything in writing is gonna be boring, in my opinion. The number two con is, as a beginner, it can be a little bit slower to scale because you are, like I've said in many of my videos, pulling from the client money without experience, without, and you're, you're basically putting all the risk on the prospect. A little bit harder to ask for, you know, $1,500, $3,000 a month if you're brand new with no experience, even though there's ways to say it that make it sound better, but still, um, it's, your, your confidence is gonna be at an all-time low when you're starting as well. It's a little bit harder to sell that to someone because the risk is mainly on the prospect. You can set up performance deals, but then you gotta gas yourself, like I always say, do you feel you have the skill enough to generate enough money from a performance deal to make as much as a retainer? With a retainer, you get paid no matter what, up front, right to your bank. With commission, you only get paid if you get results and then you still gotta wait for the payment, right? You gotta, you gotta prove to the client that you made them the money that they made. You were responsible for it, then you finally get paid. And you gotta build up that, that trustworthiness in the email flows in the, to the email list when you're just getting started, especially if the client hasn't been emailing faithfully. So that's one of the cons. It can be a harder sale, especially your first sale. Second sale is gonna be easier because you have the case study now you leverage the shit out of your first case study. That's the power of a case study. It will leverage it, you leverage it, and you get your second client four times as easily. The third con is gonna be, it's a pretty easy service to learn. So the more skills you build, the more uh, complexity that's involved with the business model, the more your moat is bigger, a protection of people that wanna copy your business. The easier your business is, the more likely it's to get copied. If you look at an example like, I think it's Subway, they have one of the, the highest amounts of people that franchise off of it. I think it's because it's the cheapest franchise to start. So it's a cheap franchise. That's kind of making the moat smaller. The protection's less. More people can afford to start a subway. So there's shit loads of them. The competition's through the roof, which shrinks the margin. The margin shrinks. But, but the more you build your skill set, the more the margins stay big. So if you're doing Email, yeah, we can get into the pros later, but there is a pro of it being pretty simple service to offer people, but everyone else sees that same opportunity. They see that it's simple and they all dive onto it. Right now it's super hot, by the way. Millions of people wanna make money online from email. They just don't know how to do it. So this is, those are the three main cons. Now the three main pros, number one, you don't have to do anything. You literally just, you're in the shadows. You just write emails all day. That's a pro to it. A lot of people will see that as a pro because 
A lot of people don't want to get on sales calls. A lot of people don't want to do appointment setting. A lot of people don't want to film videos, start a brand. You're in the shadows writing for these brands. You're a ghost writer. That can be a big pro for some people. The second pro is going to be, like I said before on the third con, the second pro is going to be it is an easier service to learn. So that's especially important when you're starting out online. You want to pick a service that is simple because you don't have any confidence. You haven't made any money yet. Um, so sometimes having a complex business model that's too complex can shoot you in the foot because the, the leap is too, it's too big for you. The belief is too little for you. Like you can't make that leap as a beginner. That's why there's so many people getting into e-commerce because the barrier to entry is so small and they can start getting those little micro wins. But with, you know, if you start an agency that has a huge barrier to entry, like huge, like where you're like coming in and handling their entire brand and logging into their accounts and you're like doing their ads, that's, that's a huge leap for a beginner to make. With email, it's a smaller leap. It's a little bit bigger than, you know, if you were making a sale on, you know, Amazon, but it's not as big as if you were to come in and become like a brand growth partner. It's in the middle. And that's a pro for a lot of newbies. The service is simple enough that you can kind of learn on the fly just by looking at other emails people are writing, getting on email lists and seeing what they're writing and then copying it, that same style. Obviously don't copy the emails. And the third main pro, at least that I see it this way, is you get to write whenever you want during the day. We're not talking about being in the shadows. This is a different element. You get to write whenever you want during the day versus if you're becoming a closer or a setter, you are basically required to be glued to your screen or your desk during normal business hours when people are awake and buying. With email, you get to write it all when you want. You could stay up at three o'clock in the morning writing your emails to your clients. They won't know any better as long as you get it submitted on time. So you really do get to work straight from the laptop with email copywriting um, versus you know closing and setting. Closing and setting, you're gonna be on the phone, you're gonna be DMing people all day long, sending payment links, getting them enrolled, answering questions, not with email copywriting. You simply are writing, you're dealing with one client, not a bunch of people buying, just one client. The person paying you is your client. It's that retainer, or if it's commission-based, it's different, but that's one of the pros as well. Hope you found some value in that. Again, if you're someone that's stuck you don't know where the hell to go. You don't know if you should be doing setting, inbound, closing, email. Hopefully in this video, you got a little bit more clarity on what you should be doing. But if you don't know what to do, you don't know what you should be charging, you don't know where to find clients, you don't know how to set up your brand, you don't know how to actually fulfill the service, then I recommend you get on one of our free strategy calls. And on that call, we'll really hunker down, figure out what you should be doing, point you in the right direction, and then if it makes sense, we can also chat about maybe getting into HFM as well, if it makes sense.